right in through my face. Uh -huh. So once you discover where tension is, uh, I mean, outside of being able to come to a class like this, uh, what are things that you could do on your own to start releasing that with scene study partners or is it just like working through the scene work? Or? I think it's just working. I, well, I my thing is it's working through your life. Yeah, You'll yeah, start exactly. to see where you get, maybe your tension doesn't, or maybe it does, you know yeah. what I mean? Like for me, where I actually start asking people about personal things about where they're stuck in life because it shows up in the work, right. they start to admit, oh yeah, that's my challenge in life because it's just connected, okay. right? So, I mean, since you're talking about something, a very physical, a specific physical response, I mean, look at it. This is the challenging thing about acting, is that in life, look at what just happened. In life, when tra I mean, we don't even deal with that kind of tragedy, thank God. Just in life, when you are in conflict with your lover, or your mom, or your dad, or whatever, and you start to go like this. Yeah. You get into a fight with them, right? And you feel, like and then that. you're like, I gotta go smoke, I gotta yeah. drive the car, whatever. My mom took a drive away car one time. She like, literally <laughs> got in the car and drove all over town because she was so upset with my dad one time, I don't remember. But my, my point is, is Acting is asking us to do that which in life is almost impossible and none of us do because our flight fight response kicks in in conflict unless you completely shut down now guys do that more than girls guys are like I'm good I'm fine <laughs> and women are like what why what are you doing <laughs> But then it comes out three weeks later. So it's, it's true. So you can't get around it. So my thing is, is how do we learn how to create a receptacle where we're more relaxed, even though our natural state is going to create tensione? Mm -hmm. So I just think it's the practice of doing it. And, and, and sometimes, a lot of times, tension is also amazing. As long as tension creates frisson, it creates conflict yeah. but you have you can't let the tension shut you out from telling story so that the thing is to catch that tension and make a different choice right in that second no I don't even think it's about making a different choice I think it's about transforming it you're not even having to be conscious about it hopefully as you progress in the work right. you're allowing it energetically to help tell story okay. which can be really amazing as long as the story is the star you're fine okay as long as story is the star you know, now that sounds a little bit like contradiction because like Jack Nicholson, I love what he says because he says all acting is 75% is you, it's all I teach, and then he says the other, wait, 85% is you, I can't do math. The other 15%, is that 15? Yes. 85% is you, the other 15% is relaxation, so you can access you. Gotcha. So kids, do the math. 100% of you all the time, not the character. You all the time. You. It's you. Again, thinking about this tragedy, I was at the gym today and I was like checking my exits. You start to think about yourself in different scenarios. This is a bad example, but it's it's a good example. In your acting, it's all you all the time. You're having to figure out yourself in different situations, which is scary and uncomfortable and weird and beautiful and the process called telling story. So I don't necessarily think it's a terrible thing to have tension, right. as long as the tension doesn't get in the way of the work. Okay. Makes sense? Makes yeah. Sense. Thank you. Yeah. What else? That's a really good question. I think that will become a blog, actually. <laughs>